In this video, we're going to go over another really cool use case for ChatGPT agent, and that is using the ChatGPT agent feature to do our keyword research for us. And instead of having it crawl the marketplaces and do all of the analysis for itself, we're going to shortcut the process and get the best data possible by pairing it with the tool eRank. So let's just go ahead and jump into ChatGPT and do this. Okay, so here we are in ChatGPT and the way we get access to the agent feature is we simply click tools and we click agent mode. Now, since we are using a tool that has a login, it will require some manual intervention at the beginning of the process. But after you do that, it will go ahead and run exactly as you would expect it to. Okay, so here we are with our our chat GPT agent instructions that we are going to use to pair it with E-Rank and do our keyword research for us. If you stick around to the end of the video, I'll give you instructions on how you can get a copy of this instruction set. So the way that this works is we provide it with a seed keyword, which it will type into E-Rank for us. And then it will go through all of these different steps. It's going to pause to make it so that you can sign in. It is not able to sign in with your credentials for you for data safety reasons. And it goes through and it uses the browser in order to get to a narrowed down set of keywords that might be valuable to us that is lower competition, but still has relatively clear demand. And we're taking out obviously off topic things. We're taking out clear infringements. It's not perfect, but it will be a very time-saving first pass, and then we can work with whatever data it gives us. So the way we get this started is we press Control A, Control C, and then we can paste it in here. We can click Tools, and we can click Agent Mode. And then all we have to do is press Go, and we did Halloween PNG because that's thematic and it's the right time to be uploading for Halloween. We can also go ahead and do teacher PNG and we can turn agent mode on again and we will also do sarcastic shirt. Okay so we have all three of our agents running and unfortunately I can't show you the login step because it already has my data from when I logged in last time. It, it, it works exactly how you would expect it to. You just have to input your username and your password. So what it would do is it would essentially hand over the browser to you and then you would type in your username and password you'd press enter and then it would go ahead and it would do all of this for you so we're going to go ahead and let our three robot friends run and then we will see what we get back okay so our three robot minions have finished doing all of the work for us for the first pass and here we are with basically a play-by-play -play of what it did and it did everything step by step according to our instructions. And then it ended up with the data and then it processed the data into a CSV file for us. And it also showed us this table and we can click here if we want to download the CSV file. Now it does seem like some of these are not directly related to sarcastic shirt, however, I do know that a lot of sarcastic shirts feature raccoons. Sarcastic and inappropriate are very related. I know there are sarcastic frog shirts. So these are likely to be relevant and worth checking out, especially if the Etsy competition is below a certain threshold. Some of the ones that stand out the most to me are using the tag inappropriate shirt, which is going to be significantly easier to break into than sarcastic since that is such a high competition word. Another standout is the opossum shirt. Perhaps a sarcastic opossum shirt would work well. And that's basically all we're looking for is we're looking for it to do a first pass for us so we know where to investigate for ourselves. Okay, so let's check out teacher PNG here. It did all of the steps just like before. I think these stopped being cached after a while. So obviously teacher PNG or teacher t-shirt is going to be extremely competitive, especially on a platform like Etsy. However, if we look here, male teacher is not that competitive. It's not extremely high search volume, but the competition is quite low. So that one definitely stands out to me. And a decent amount of the rest of these have potential as 
other keywords associated with teachers and give us some clues as to what might be selling and would be of a lower competition level. For example, fall teacher designs do stand out to me as a good option, and it looks like it's gonna be way easier to break into than the summer teacher ones. And every single niche on the planet does well with a coffee cross niche, so we've got caffeinated teacher. And you can take this kind of list and add a bunch of relevant long tail keywords where you might be ranking a lot more easily than if you tried to just go for teacher PNG. Now for our last one here with the Halloween PNG, if we look at this, we end up seeing things like trendy Halloween PNG and ultimately it's this Etsy competition bit that matters the most, right? So what stands out? So it's currently sorted by average searches. So trick-or-treat bag doesn't make a ton of sense because that's probably people looking for trick-or-treat bags instead of creating a digital file or a print-on-demand product. Although if you make a trick-or-treat bag print-on-demand product, that might sell. But as we scroll down and we see less competitive niches, we can see that Get In Loser. Get In Loser is not necessarily directly Halloween related, but we can definitely make it that way, especially when we see any decent number of average searches and low Etsy competition. And then if we scroll down, we see trendy Halloween PNG. And another high probability of being able to get some traction one is this brush stroke watercolor Halloween PNG. And these are really the kinds of things that we're looking for if we're trying to find things that we can easily rank for, especially with a brand new shop. And after we scroll down here, we can see that Pug Halloween, Dental Halloween, all of these types of smaller search volume, sub-niched Halloween things are looking like they would be moderately easy to break into in terms of the Etsy competition score. All right, so I've been enjoying nerding out with ChatGPT Agent. And when you start to use ChatGPT Agent to run with tools that are already helpful in terms of getting to good data, it even further levels up the capabilities of using ChatGPT Agent to do things like keywords and niche research. So if you want a copy of the ChatGPT instruction set that I used, check out the link in the description, sign up to the newsletter, and in three days from the posting of this video, I will send that out to my email list. If you want it sooner, or if you're coming to this video a little bit later, you can always send me an email and I'll send you a copy. Now, if you want to watch me build an instruction set and have ChatGPT agent crawl Etsy all on its own, then check out this video over here. Thank you for watching and I will see you in that video.